Layers allow us to assign and consistently apply colors, line weights, and line types to objects that are similar. In drawing a house elevation, for example, we might want to have separate layers for the doors, windows, fixtures, dimensions, borders, text, and other elements of the drawing. In this exercise, we will create and apply layers to the doorknob previously created. You can tell that the <coughs> door on this drawing currently has layers applied uh, by noting the colors and also by coming to the drop-down window that's located on the layers panel of the ribbon. I'm going to open a door drawing that does not have the layers applied and you can tell by the lack of colors as well as from the drop down here. To create the layers I need to go to the layers button that's located on the panel and by pressing that it will open up the Layers Property Manager palette. Notice that there are no layers currently created other than the default zero layer. Another way to get to the Layers Property Manager is to type in layers or the command alias LA at the command line. To create a new layer I can simply uh, click on the new layer icon which looks like a sheet of paper with a star above it. I can type in the new layer, in this case border, and if I want to accept it I can hit enter and then if I hit enter again it will automatically create another new layer for me. I want this next new layer to be the center layer and then the dimensions layer followed by the doors layer and all I'm doing here is enter, hitting enter twice. My next new layer is the fixtures layer followed by the hatch layer, the hidden layer, the the objects layer, the text layer. If you make a mistake and you want to go back you can simply select that layer and then edit the name of it. Uh, next layer is the title layer followed by the viewports layer. And lastly, the Windows layer. I've now created uh, 13 different layers. <clears throat> Next, I want to change the color of each of these layers. I'll begin with the border layer. Notice that in the color column, all of the colors are currently white. I'm going to leave the border layer white, but I'm going to change the center layer to magenta. And when I click on the color in that particular column and row, it brings up the Select Color dialog box. From that box, I will choose magenta, which is this purple color, and I'll say OK. For the dimensions layer, I'll click on it again. I want it to be red, so I'll click on red here. From the For the door layer I want it to be cyan, that's this light blue color. In the fixtures layer I want it to be magenta. The hatch layer has a color that's specified by a number. 12, which is a brick red, and I can just type in that number. The hidden layer has another number for a color, 85. And then the objects layer is blue. And I can pick that down at the bottom. The text layer is red. 
the title layer is green the viewports layer is yellow and the windows layer is a cyan light blue color notice that we're currently in the index color tab here <coughs> and I could select all these other colors I could also go to the true Col colors tab <coughs> And from that tab, I could, I could uh, create a color from literally millions of different options. The Color Books tab allows me to choose different color books that are related to uh, paint colors available by manufacturers for interior design. For my purposes, I'm sticking with just the Index Color tab because I'm just choosing basic colors. Having created all the colors for my layers, I now want to create the line types for these layers. Most of them are just a continuous line, which is just a continuous solid line with no dashes. But there are a few of them, such as the center layer, that I want to have a different line. For the center layer, I want to use the center line. And notice that I only have one option in the select line types dialog box so I'll need to hit the load button at the bottom here to load in <coughs> the center line that I'm looking for I'll scroll down until I get to center I'll select it and say OK and then I need to select center and say OK so that it applies it to the center layer and you can see that here in the line types column the next line type that I'll enter that's not continuous is for the hidden layer. And I'll select that again to get the select line type dialog box and then I'll hit the load button once more to load this hidden line type. And I could have loaded all these at the same time, all the other line types that need to be loaded. I'll go ahead and select the hidden line type. I'll say OK and then I'll hit the load button once more to load the Phantom 2 line type which I'm going to need for the viewports layer. I'll select it, say OK and then I'll select the hidden line which is the current line type that I want to apply to the hidden layer and say OK. And you can see that it has added that in. The last view the last layer that needs a different line type is the viewports layer so I'll select that I'll select the Phantom 2 line type that I just loaded I'll say OK and I've now uh, completed assigning the line types for all of my layers lastly I want to come to the line, white, line weight column and apply the different line weights to each of the layers. The line weights are usually in millimeters and much like the mechanical pencils that use a 0.5 millimeter or 0.7 millimeter thickness, these line weights also are defined uh, in millimeters. I'll begin with the border layer which has a very thick line weight of 0.7 millimeters and when I select it I get the line weights dialog box I can select 0.7 millimeters by scrolling down I'll say OK the center layer <coughs> uses a default line weight as do the rest of the layers up through the fixtures layer the fixtures layer has a line weight of 0.2 millimeters that's very it's a very thin line the hatch layer has an even thinner line at 0 0.09 millimeters the hidden line uses a 0.15 millimeter line weight the objects layer is quite a bit thicker and you want those objects to stand out so it's 0.5 millimeters 
the text layer is default the title layer is also quite a bit thicker at 0.5 the phantom layer is default and the windows layer is also default having completed all of my layers including the colors line types and line weights I'm gonna go ahead and close the layers property manager those layers are all now available to me from the drop down in the layers panel and I can set the default layer in this drop down as well perhaps I want it to be set to the uh, door layer to apply to uh, put objects that have already been drawn on a layer I simply select the object in this case I would I could select uh, all of the door lines here using the pick box or a crossing window and then I go to the drop down and select the door layer and now they're all on the door layer I could do the same thing for the door knob, simply selecting all the objects in the door knob and then putting them on the fixtures layer, which is this magenta colored layer. Now, uh, if I were to use one of the layers that has a different line type such as the center line and uh, draw a line in that center line we would expect the line type to show up a little bit differently and it does but it's hard to read if I zoom in you can see that it is in fact a center line type with a long dash followed by a short dash followed by more long dashes but it doesn't appear properly in the normal view because the line type scale has has not been set let me go to another layer that uses a different line type this is the the um, the viewports layer I'll draw another line here with that viewports layer and then I'll also go to the hidden layer which uses the hidden line type and draw another another line here as I zoom in on these you'll see that they are in fact hidden and phantom lines but I have to zoom in a long way to see that I can change the line type scale to match the scale of the drawing by typing in LTS the command alias for line type scale at the command line and hitting enter notice that the default line type scale is 1 this drawing is quite a bit bigger so I might need to have a bigger line type scale here let me type in 24 and hit enter. As soon as I do, you notice that the line types adjust quite a bit. Try typing in something else, LTS of perhaps 48, and the dashed lines get even bigger. If I continue, maybe an LTS of 100, it gets to the point where the line types now look like they're just about solid if I go in the other direction with an LTS of something uh, quite small like say 0.5 the line types also look solid because the scale is wrong let's try an LTS of 6 and that appears to show all the line types at about the scale that they should so I will I will leave the LTS at a scale of 6. And that concludes my creation and application of the layers with their respective 
colors, line weights, and line types for my door and doorknob.